Yo, yo, yo. What up, people? It's your boy State, and we back. Some more just wrote to glory. What is going on, Madden Lab? It's been a minute. It's been a while. It's been a mighty long time. But I'm back on here, man. Bringing y'all some quality gameplay. Hopefully. Hopefully it is. And, uh, you know, some more just crazy, ridiculous commentary. Not too crazy. Not too ridiculous. But, uh... You know what I mean. I don't talk about the gameplay too much. But this is my boy Tony Splash. My wide receiver, man. Up in here in this practice mode. I always practice for the game. Man. You gotta get out there, get loose, get warmed up. And uh, I'll tell you one thing, man. I, one thing that I like about the practice, they added all that stuff in there. Like the other team's record. What their offense and defense and stuff is ranked and all that. But one thing I don't get, man, is why... Uh, what does the offense benefit from playing with the other team's offensive playbook? Is it just for your benefit, like, you know, because you get to run out, go run different plays or something? But I really don't see the uh, the benefit of running with the other team's playbook. You should play with yours so you know what the hell you're doing come game day. But, uh, you know, it is what it is. I'm not worried about it. And you see, man, we uh, started off this practice really rough. No, no, communication was not there, man. No chemistry at all. But, uh, you know, later on in the practice, man, last few plays, last few reps, we got something going. And hopefully I can carry that into game day. Well, obviously I carry that into game day. I wouldn't have this video up here on the Madden Lab for all y'all to see. You know what I mean? It's just the way I do it. See that, man? It's just, uh... Playing against what was it, uh, University of Louisiana Monroe. Look how hyped the crowd is getting, man. They they love them some Tony Splash. And um, that's what I should just tell you. The, the, the way that uh, I kind of go about editing these videos, I show um, I show a lot of the plays, but I try to show as many of the plays as I can that I think have to do with the outcome of the game. Like I think you know a wide receiver, a good wide receiver should be able to block as well as go out there and catch passes and get open so I, I want to show me going out there throwing blocks getting people open you know getting getting open getting separation all that stuff I want to show everything the good and the bad I try to show some of the bad too not as much as the bad because you don't want to see the bad it's pretty bad when it's bad but anyway but I'm gonna um, talk a little some a little bit about the uh, the coach's trust in this game because I know a few people have had issues with it to me, as I get blasted, because nobody wants to block that guy, to me, wide receiver is probably the easiest position to play in the game. Like, it's, it's a very low risk, high reward position because you have very little responsibilities. And it's um, the easiest position to me in order to, to, in order to play and not only to get, but to hold on the coach's trust. And for some reason, the quarterback throws that he throws me that ball when you know there's a corner sitting there in a the cover too. I don't I don't understand it, but it is what it is. You know the crowd they don't understand it either. I'm right with them. But uh, you know as long as you go out there and you catch passes and you don't drop the ball, you get points. But uh, you know if you go out there and you run around and you ask for the ball all the time and he throws it to you and it gets picked off or it's incomplete, then they blame that on you and that's your fault. If, the, if you don't ask for the ball, whether you're open or not, and he throws it to you, it's not your fault. Because you didn't ask for the ball. Whoop! Get off me, son. Because you didn't ask for the ball. So that's, you know, this is kind of my tip real quick for the uh, wide receiver part of things. I would imagine playing, like, you know, running back and uh, quarterback and all that, it would be a lot harder because most of your um, most of your, your coach's trust points depend on how well the offensive line plays because obviously getting sacked or getting tackled for a loss you lose a lot of points that way and you, don't, you know it's, it, and if the offensive line is just letting people filter through it's really nothing you can do about it playing defense is a little different you know I've, I've played, um, I played a little bit of corner before I decided to go around to the other side and play wide receiver and um, I played alright I didn't play too well because I was that's when I was first picking up the game trying to get used to the, the movement system and all that but uh, you know, I was able to get in there, get a few tackles, make some plays, but I never really got to, got a chance to uh, get any interceptions because you know 
I was either out of position or when I was in position. And let's go home real quick. When I was in position, the computer wouldn't throw it, which they shouldn't do. But you know, it's like they were doing it to my teammates. I'm like, why not do it to me too? You know, let me get involved. I want to, I want to pick. It ain't, it ain't, you know, it ain't fun if the boys can't get none. You know what I mean? That's how it is. But um, yeah, man, that's just, that's just kind of, you know, how I see it. I like playing wide receiver, man. I played wide receiver last year. I had a lot of fun doing it, so I figured why not do it again. And uh, as I go in here, get my second touchdown of the game. Ooh, let me get out of there, man. It's too easy. It's too easy out here for Tony, man. He's too nice. And I don't know what else to talk about. I think I actually talked about a lot. And right there, I could have ran a streak. But um, I ran my route, though, which is good because I got the ball. And um, I don't know, I guess I could talk about why I run my routes. Because I, I know, you know, it's it's fun to just go out there and just ball out. You know, especially if you got a dude that can get down the field and make plays. But to me, running your routes, which which this wasn't, this pick was actually my fault. Because, you know, I was supposed to run the drag. They had it checked the whole way across. I really had nowhere to go. So I cut up the field to try to get to that corner of the end zone. He threw it to me. And uh, it ended up getting picked off. I'll take the blame for that. I didn't call for the ball there. But, you know, it, it was my fault. But um, <clears throat> but um, the reason I run my routes, really, as I throw this crack block get out of there, man. Watch out. The reason I run my routes, man, is because, you know, pretty much to me, that's that's basically half the game you're playing right there. I mean, when you're out there running your routes and stuff, you know, it's, it's you out there either running the routes or you catching the ball. And it's like, why well, take half of the game away? That's just how I see it. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, man. We win the game fairly easily. But uh, most importantly, man, I want to thank y'all for watching. Thanks for having me back on the Madden Lab, man. Hopefully, uh, it's not a few months between this video and my next one, man. I'm going to do my best to uh, come up with a good video for y'all next time. Hopefully, there is a next time. But yeah, you see my numbers right there. Them two tackles, I do everything. But it's your boy State, and I'm out. Peace.